Howdy everybody, Michael Mass here and welcome to this week's edition of the Disney Diner Review, your one-stop shop for everything food and foodie at Walt Disney World. This week we are, we're in Pandora and we're going to go try this Atuli Cantina over here in the Animal Kingdom. So let's go on in and check it out. One of the first things you'll notice here at the Satuli Cantina is how much seating there is. There's a ton of seating out here, a ton of seating inside. This is a quick service place over here in Pandora. Let's check out that menu. Let's look at the menu here at the Satuli Canteen. You have the create your own bowl there on the left as you have slow roasted, slow roasted sliced grilled beef, chopped wood grilled chicken, a combination bowl, the fish filet, or the chili spice crispy fried tofu throw that on top of your base the rice and black beans the red and the red and sweet potato hash the mixed whole green rice or the hearty salad along with your sauce where whether it be the charred green onion vinaigrette the black bean vinaigrette or the creamy herb dressing next up we have the steam pods the bayo buns basically the bayou buns bayou buns i i, I really don't know how to pronounce that but you can have the vegetable curry pods or the cheeseburger pods as well up here they do have the kids menu and that's going to be the slow roasted sliced grilled beef the chopped grilled chicken basically anything that's in that create your own bowl is up there for the kids menu they also have the cheeseburger pod there for the kids menu all beef hot dog and the cheese quesadilla you also have draft beers wine of all sorts there along with the regular beverages and the dessert berry the chocolate cake or the blueberry cream cheese mousse Wow, that's a lot on one menu. So once you grab the menu there as you walk in, you kind of walk over, this is all quick service. So you walk over here, you walk down the line, take the turn, take the turn, and then go over here and order. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna get yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be tasty from everything I've heard about this place. So obviously there's another thing not on the menu that's that family size sampler for $75. Looks like you could feed a boatload of people for that. And don't forget here at the Satelli, Satelli Canteen, they do have the mobile pickup if you just want to order on your phone, come over here and pick it up. That's usually really quick as you can see the line moves through there fairly, fairly quick. So as we sat down, my guests got the fish filet with the sweet potato hash and the black bean vinaigrette. I got that sliced beef with the rice and the green chili vinaigrette. So this looks really delish. Also ordered was the curry pods, the bao pods, the curry pods. Uh, these, this is kind of like a vegan dish here as well. You get, the, you get the chips and the pods. I'm gonna have to at least try this to see how this tastes as well. Let's chow down and see what we think. Everybody. Well, me and my guest have tried three things today. We, I tried, ordered the beef bowl with the rice and the, I want to say it was the green chili vinaigrette dressing or vinaigrette. Really, I like the rice. I like the vinaigrette. I didn't like the beef so much, but it, everything was really good and really fresh. I'm not, I'm not, I just, once I tasted the other things, like I tasted the fish and the, the other one was the, the fish and sweet potatoes and uh, sweet potato hash with, uh, I wanna say the black bean. I really enjoyed the fish. I really enjoyed that bowl a little bit more than I enjoyed mine. Mine was good, I'm not gonna knock it. It was good, I enjoyed that a little bit more. And then the pods with the bayo, bayo buns pods there. Um, I thought it was really doughy, but the, the curry inside was really good. Everything, everything was really fresh and really good over here, which is what I've heard was this is an optimal place to eat when in Animal Kingdom, and I definitely would recommend it over here at the Satuli Cantina, or Canteen, I'm probably saying it wrong there. I think it's Satuli Canteen over here 
in Pandora. So I like my dish, but I like the fish dish a little bit more. And I was kind of in the middle on the curried pods. But if you're a vegetarian, there's definitely, there's plenty of vegetarian stuff over here. They also have that menu that you can check out for allergies and stuff. There's plenty of options for any and everybody over here at the Satuli Cantina. Canteen? Cantina? I want to call it Cantina. Why do I want to call it Cantina? I think it's the Satuli Canteen, guys. But, so what am I going to give it? I am going to give it four. I'm going to give it four M's, which is a pretty high ranking for me because I, I don't think I've given something four M's in a while. But four M's here at the Satuli Canteen. I definitely recommend it if you're in Animal Kingdom. I think there's only one other place in Animal Kingdom that I would even choose to eat right now, and that's Yak and Yeti. Everything else I seem to be eating over here in recent days just kind of falls a little short. But you know what? There's still some other places I haven't tried. Maybe I'll find another. What is your go-to place? What is your, you know what? I think I've asked this before. So what is your go-to quick service place on property, period? What is your go-to, any park, what is your go-to quick service place? Let me know down in the comments. And if, if you've been to Satuli Canteen, what did you order here and what did you like here as well? The prices at, here at the Satuli Canteen are also pretty reasonable. I mean, mine was $14 for, for the bowl. Like I said, this is some quality food over here. I really think it's probably some of the better quality food on property, which I'm surprised that other places aren't getting forced to step up to this food now, because this place has proven that it's that it's there, that it's some place that it's gonna be on some must list. And like I guess that I've heard a lot about it and been recommended to get here several times, and it did not fall short. But my meal was about $14, uh, and all meals kind of fall between that nine and $14 range. If you've enjoyed this week's edition of the Disney Dining Review, I'm going to get out of here. My name is Michael. Thank you for your time. Here's to life.